Hey guys, it's Piper. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my gazelle punch. I learned this punch a very long time ago from my Kajukimbo coach. He taught it to me so that I could close the distance on my opponents pretty efficiently because back then, when I was like 10, 11, 12, I was fighting a lot of tall boys and they had a lot more longer reach than me. So this was a good way to get inside and do damage. So what you're first going to do is you're going to slip and keep your hands up the whole time. You're going to slip to the inside and when you slip to the inside your weight is going to be on your back leg. But then when I slip to my outside my weight will be transferred over into my front leg and also be loading up my right hand hook so that I can explode and throw my hook. So I'm going to slip to the inside, slip to the outside, my hands loaded and explode and jump to my target. So again, slip, slip, hook. Okay, so that's the basic foundation of the combo and the technique. So I'm going to add a little bit of spice to it by throwing another move after in case they react somewhat. So let's say they react by moving straight back. I'm going to throw a side kick. So I'm going to slip, slip, hook. I miss because they move back enough to get out of my punching range, but they didn't move back enough to get out of my side kicking range because they expected a punch. So I'm going to slip, slip, hook, side kick. Again, slip, slip, hook, side kick. Slip, slip, hook, side kick. One more time, slip, hook, side kick. Okay, now let's say they react by moving to my right, my back side. I am going to throw my spinning back fist. So it'll look like this, slip, slip, I hook, and then I throw. Spinning back fist. Okay, so now let's say they move to my left side. I'm going to throw a back leg kick. So I still do the same thing. Slip, slip, I hook, and then I throw my back leg. So slip, slip, hook, back leg. One more time. Okay, now let's say that they are super tough and they just stand there and take the punch. I'm going to follow it up with an overhand hook and an uppercut. So I'm going to slip, slip, hook, overhand, uppercut. And I try to get an angle on my overhand and then my uppercut. So it kind of comes at this kind of angle. So I go slip, slip, hook, overhand, uppercut. Slip, slip, hook, overhand, uppercut. Slip, slip, hook, uppercut. Slip, slip, hook, overhand, uppercut. Hook. And that's all I have today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Comment if you guys liked that type of technique video. And make sure you like and subscribe so that you guys can continue coming on my fighting career journey with me. And yeah, bye.